Today I'm going to be showing you another example from using Autogen. So Autogen is this Microsoft AI framework. It allows you to really hook up uh, your LLMs to it. In this particular example, we're going to be playing with Amazon. So how you can do some scraping, how you can get some data from it, and I hope you enjoy it. If you learned something from the video, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe. It'll keep you up to date on all the other tutorials I have planned. Thank you. My goal today is to show you how I got this script here, uh, Amazon Price Checker, to be produced by Autogen. When I execute, you can see that Selenium pulls up the website, data is entered, it gathers information on an iPhone 13, and there is the answer. Let's dive in. Okay, we're gonna jump right here into main. Everything's already set up. We've got the config list, we've got all the parameters, we've got the two agents set up. I'm not gonna take time going through all these here. You can check that out in my other video where I do go through this in detail. Come here to videos and you see the latest video. It's it's actually right here. It is uh, search read Airbnb with Autogen created Python web scraper. That will give you all the details, the nitty gritty of how to set all of this up. It's time now to set up to initiate our chat. So we're gonna have the agent proxy uh, talk to the assistant. We're gonna ask it, hey, I'd like for you to create a Python script that meets the following requirements. Searches for an iPhone 14 at Amazon finds the price of the iPhone 14, prints that result to the screen. Let's see what it does. And here's the answer. So th this is pretty interesting in the beginning. So the agent assistant is saying back to the proxy, you know, you the human, uh, the, or our proxy agent, it's saying, hey, I'm sorry for the confusion, but uh, my last knowledge, there is no iPhone 14 on the market, but I can look up an iPhone 13 and this is the script that it creates. Uh, let's see, scrape underscore price. It's trying to use beautiful soup. All right, and then now it says, hey, in this script, it's telling the user, replace the URL of the product with the URL that you wanna scrape. So when it's executed, you actually, it, so it, it goes, so the, our agent proxy goes ahead and executes the script that, it, that was handed back and you get an exception hey, uh, invalid URL of the product. So you didn't supply, so you get an error from the Python code. And now the uh, agent assistant says, hey, I apologize for the confusion. Uh, the error occurred because of this. Here's a revised version of the script that uses a hypothetical website, okay, instead of Amazon. So it gives you kind of an example here and explains what this will do. Well, guess what? The agent runs it again and gets another error and says, hey, uh, this none type here, so it doesn't work. Then the agent assistant says, hey, I apologize again for the confusion. As I mentioned earlier, we can't really do this. And then, hey, I couldn't find the price. Uh, the structure may have changed. And then it terminates. Sorry, I couldn't do it. That is kind of our first attempt here at the prompt. Let's now update our prompt. We're gonna add one thing, it's right here. We're gonna tell, we're gonna tell our assistant, hey, just use the Selenium driver, please. And, and let's see what answers you can give us. And let's see what we get for that. Okay, so with that hint, we do we do see this. So use it, we tell it, use the Selenium driver, and it actually does that, and, it, and it's able, actually able to be successful. So we'll see how that is. And you can see the script here, Amazon price check that they, they named it. Actually also, it's up here. So in your agent output, you see the two scripts it's created so far. And you're gonna see it's loading up the Chrome uh, driver. Pretty nice, sleep, wait, and there we go. I didn't tell it any of this. I didn't say, look for this, look for this. It already knew this. It does tell the user, hey, you need to install the Chrome driver. And check this out, it actually does it on my machine. It didn't do this install. And it runs it, and then there you go. The price of the iPhone 13 on Amazon is that. And then the agent says, hey, thank you, I am done, and then terminate, and then the script exits. So that was successful. I'm gonna show you another scenario here where I did this earlier, and it actually did not work. So if you dive into the code, you can see here driver path is equal to path to your Chrome driver. Like It, it can't find it, it doesn't know about it. And then when the agent runs it, it always gets this error. Hey, got an unexpected keyword, executable path. And then it says, hey, I apologize for the confusion. The correct keyword for specifying the path Chrome driver in the Selenium is executable path. Here's the corrected code. Gives you more code. 
Oh, and then it tell it tells the the agent. It says so. This is the assistant telling the agent the the agent proxy. Please replace this with the actual path to your Chrome driver. So it knows the problem, and this uh, agent that's supposed to be res doing stuff for us doesn't fix this. So then you you just get the same error over and over. So executable path. Okay, sorry, you should have fixed it. Okay, it's the same error. Okay, sorry, you should have fixed it. And the same error. So my point here is, in this scenario, it did not work. And you could, I mean, burn up a lot of money here, right? Uh, as your, your your code's going infinite looping here. And now it doesn't infinite loop, it does terminate. But uh, you could be careful here because looping over and over and over on the same error, when in reality, all what need to be done is a human come in here and actually correct this path. Let me show you the actual out output here. So scrape uh, underscore price. We know this one did not work. And then the actual one that did work is Amazon price check. I'll, I'll link these both. I'll, I'll send these both to you in my in my actual GitHub repo. And just for fun, let's go ahead and run it in our terminal. That's the Chrome driver popping up. I'm sorry, it's kind of split off. It's super fast. And there's the answer. So the, the price did not change. That wraps up the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And please check out the next video. That's going to actually take you through the detailed steps of setting up all the configuration parameters.